Hello! Um, I often check my junk mail, not because I'm interested in the junk I get, but because sometimes there are nuggets of entertainment. This is one of them. So this is, uh, it caught my eye because it's an email supposedly to myself. All they've really done is they've used Send Mail or some other mail program to put my own address in as the header address that they're sending the email from. Um, but they've done it a bit wrong. So it says it's to zealous at hotmail.co.uk from zealous at hotmail.co.uk. But it actually says to Greg6909. I don't know who Greg6909 is. I haven't dug into the information. Um, but it's great because it's it's so stupid. This is this is like the hacker equivalent of the old um, African prince got lots of money waiting for you scam stuff. So my name in Darknet is Loy48. Okay, Loy. L-O-Y. That sounds Vietnamese, maybe? I hacked this mailbox more than six months ago. No, you didn't. Okay. <clears throat> Zealous at Hotmail at Cody K doesn't exist. There's no there's no such email that you can log on to and get that. It's a mail alias connected to a completely unpublished, completely unused email. So people that have Zealous at Hotmail okay, don't even know what email account to log on to to get to the alias that is zealous.co.uk. This is ridiculous. So if you're anybody that wants to keep yourself private, learn about email aliasing. Anyway, through it, I infected your operating system with a virus, Trojan, created by me, and I've been monitoring you for a long time. No, you haven't. First of all, I have about 20 different machines that can connect to that email address, and they're all different operating systems, all of them. Some of them don't even have GUIs, so I'm, I'm interested how you did some of this shit. So your password from Zealous at AutoCodeK is Greg6909. No, it's not. I don't know who Greg6909 is, but nothing to do with me. I don't know anything about him, so good luck to you. Even if you change it after that, it does not matter. My virus intercepted all the caching data on your computer and automatically saved the access for me. Okay, well, technically there's a few issues there. Saved all the caching data. What cache? My processor cache? My browser cache? What cache do you want to talk about? Um, for anybody who don't know, by the way, cache in English is cache in French, or cache to people that don't really know what they're talking about. Or some people call it cache, which really annoys me. It's cache. C A C E C H E, rather. Anyway, his next part I have access to all your accounts, social networks, email, browsing history. So you don't have access to all my social networks because I don't use any. And you don't have access to all my accounts because not many of them are attached to anything to do with hot, zealous at hotmail.co.uk. And you don't have my browsing history because all you'd find is heavy R and Pornhub and all the stuff shit. So I know you're not looking. Accordingly, I have the data of all your contacts, files from your computer, photos and videos. No, you don't. Because if you did, you'd have to have a whole server farm to hold the information. There's terabytes upon terabytes upon terabytes. You would have been having to slurp this down over my network, I would have noticed, because my Virgin Media upload is less than one megabit per second. It's ridiculous. I was most struck by the intimate content sites you occasionally visit. You mean occasionally? I'm pulling up every night, mate. You have a very wild imagination, I tell you. Cool. Okay. During your pastime and entertainment there, look screenshot through camera to your device, synchronising what you're watching. Oh my god, you're so funny and excited. Am I? Well, first of all, you can't get this camera on through that email address without me seeing that light on. And most of the time, it's pointed at that wall. So, interesting. Um, and most of the time that it is on, I'm recording myself and can see what's going up over there. Anyway. I do not think you want all your context to get these files right. If you are same opinion, then think that £885 is quite fair price to destroy the dirt I created. I have an image right now of a small Vietnamese person crouching over an open latrine, catching the poop and just crunching it up. That's the kind of dirt I think he would be creating and destroying. It's just my opinion. Send the above amount to my BTC wallet Bitcoin at all this 
random gobb gobbledygook that if you want to ha harass him, you can see there, folks. As soon as the above amount is received, I will guarantee the data will be deleted. I do not need it. Do what you see fit with it, mate. I'm not interested. Otherwise, these files and history of visiting sites will go all your contacts from all your devices. Also, I'll send it to everyone in your contact, access your email, and access your logs. I have carefully saved it. Good. I haven't carefully saved much of it because it's all stored on different operating systems in different places. So, good luck to you. I mean, there's three servers next to me full of data. Did you get on them? Don't think you did, boy. Since reading the letter, this letter, you are 48 hours. After reading this message, I will automatically notification that you have sent the letter. I hope I taught you a good lesson. Do not, do not be so nonchalant. Woo! Big word. Do not be so nonchalant. Please visit only proven resources. Don't enter your passwords anywhere. Good luck. Okay. You see, I've got to dig further with that crap because it is just rubbish. Where's the actual view message source? Okay, the sender IP was 190.217.195.20. Now, because I think he's already fouled up the top bit, IP address lookup. Let's see if we can get an IP address lookup on this person. Oh, I don't want to know mine. I know what my IP address is. Uh, the free IP address lookup tool? Okay. Argentina! Oh, Buenos Aires is Argentina! Viva la Malvidas? No, they're the Falklands. Sorry. Sorry, Loy48. I thought he was South Southeast Asian. I do apologize to all my uh, Southeast Asian viewers. Um, so that was received from softfail.protection.outlook.com. So that's who sent it me. I don't know why they bothered sending it. They know it was a soft fail. I'm just looking at where else it might have come from. So it came from me to Greg6909, which is also listed as that. Return path is me. So they've just they've just put that back in. <laughs> That's weird. So they sent it in 8-bit plain text encoders IBM. 852. So not ASCII, not UTF-8. There's IBM 852, which probably tells you something about how backwards some of the computing stuff in Argentina is. Network message ID, network message it came from Microsoft Exchange. There you go. So it came from an anonymous organization. Yeah, same location in Argentina. There's a load of their stuff and then the actual message. So there you go, Argentina to Loy48. See if actually Loy48 comes up with a result on Google. That looks like somebody who's in Argentina. That's Brazil, look, Brazilian. So, Loi48 is Rosa. I don't know what any of this is saying. Let's translate. Replying to this, you guys are jokes. Okay. Okay, this is all about the recent elections in in Brazil. So nothing to do with Argentina, despite the IP address being in Argentina. So there's a Loy, Kathy Loy, who is 48 in San Diego. I don't think it was you, Kathy. We'll uh, catch up another time. Uh, yeah, there's a, someone playing PUBG related to it or something. But there you go. Um, it's just a load of rubbish. So when you get this kind of stuff, folks, uh, you can actually say it's a phishing scam or you can delete them or do I do just delete all the junk. But it is entertaining. Um, I'm not James Veach. I don't have time to reply to spam. Um, and, uh, yeah. 
do stay safe online. If you're ever not 100% sure, you can legitimately email me at zealous at hotmail.com or contact me on my blog, themiglaniacboard.blogspot.co.uk or blogspot.com as it now comes up as sometimes. Um, my recent items are there about C++ um, and you're all welcome to come join me in the conversation. I will speak to you all soon. Thank you for listening. Do like and subscribe because I'm still on that march to a thousand subscribers. We got like 10 last week. So hello to you guys that came and joined us last week. And there will be more blogging like this or vlogging like this and stuff on the blog because I'm not at work. And again, I can't say why until later in the year. Bye-bye.